Happy Halloween, Burning Dog fans! And welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again! We're on the road to Mirror Peak, which would have been a lot easier if that asshole had told us we needed to go there before the sun went down. Mm -mm -mm. Love that. Where am I going? That way. Actually, let me just make sure I picked the stuff up inside. Oh, that's right, yes. Uh, I wanted to start this episode by uh, giving a shout-out to Remedy Entertainment, who it seems uh, corrected me, but uh, not in person. They sadly have not reached out to say hello. I would probably explode from excitement if uh, they did that. I'm holding in my hands the physical manual that came with the Xbox 360 version of Alan Wake back in 2010. Shout-out to a certain IRL friend of mine. Uh, and I'm looking at the page labeled Conventional Weapons, as opposed to the page before it, which is about light-based weapons. <laughs> but, uh, it doesn't have everything, I think. But, uh, I did want to read this bit. The Pump Action Shotgun. Yeah, it seems I was mistaken about the behavior of that shotgun. <laughs> so here goes. The pump action shotgun deals the same damage as the standard <clears throat> as the standard break action shotgun and is also capable of hitting several enemies at a single shot. Although it has a slower rate of fire, it holds 8 rounds of ammunition, so less reloading is required. Apparently the standard break action shotgun, the one that the game just calls shotgun, uh I guess it's semi-automatic. You can fire both barrels as fast as you can uh, pull right trigger twice. The trick is that you're constantly reloading it. I'm watching you. Fucking coal car out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, I don't love this. Did I go here already? How are the Taken not here? The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. You're not a poltergeist, just a physics object. What the fuck is going on over here? Hello? Oh, that's a car. No, no. Run. Holy shit. Okay, I am so close to dead, I am going to go back for the light. That brought me down to a tiny fucking sliver. Okay, okay. I think this means that Alan is, uh, has become photosynthetic? Or is it much more, you know, primal than that? Is it just conceptual? Did something in the multiverse decide that Alan Wake can close his wounds with light? And so it was. <laughs> Sorry, I sneezed. I was just saying, you know, if the dark can do it, maybe the light can do it. Wake and Casey. Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something mm. to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling, and I had no plan. I hardly think that's Alice's fault. But I understand. Uh, let me see. I had uh, two comments I wanted to read here. Uh... 
Where did it go? Uh -huh. Ah, yes, here it is. Shout out to Elthwar, who says, uh, If you want my guess as to what causes the screaming of the poltergeists, it's because that's the sound made when reality is made to bend, to bend like that. Just awful vibrations causing by these mystical forces that lift and direct these objects. It was just bleeding off into the world as an audible sound. Ooh. Nasty. And I like that a lot. Just the side effect of everything being horrible. Actually, speaking of Alex Casey, I had another comment about that indirectly. Uh, where did it go? Here it is. Uh, shout out to Torek00, who thinks this is a good time for his theory on Agent Nightingale. <clears throat> his impressive ability to name writers off the top of his head aside, let's look at him as a character. He's an alcoholic cowboy cop who shoots first and doesn't play nice with other law enforcement. He's a sec essentially an Alex Casey, Max Payne, XP which is uh, a term from the internet for uh, an exported character. Someone who is essentially a different fictional character who they couldn't use in that setting. It's like if you made a wizard who was exactly like a Gandalf in every way, but you didn't call him Gandalf. Uh, yes. He's essentially an Alex Casey, Max Payne XP, and I think he was the anti-hero of this story's first draft. Because Alan wanted somebody more capable than him to swoop in and save Alice. The kidnapper could have also come from this first draft as the impetus to call the FBI in over a kidnapping. But Alan kept writing himself into a corner every time. Oh no, that's sorry, that's, there was a period there. But Alan kept writing himself into a corner. Every time, if Alan was anywhere in the story himself, he naturally became the prime suspect, and not Casey did what came naturally. So Alan rewrote the story to make himself the protagonist, but he couldn't write out Al Nightingale now. He couldn't unmake what he'd already made. So now he's stuck evading a painkiller adult bloodhound in addition to his direct conflict of putting a primal force back to sleep. I like that a lot. And it also makes me wonder, you know, the Im <sighs> I'm just spitballing here. I have no knowledge that would back this up, but if the light, if the darkness can't create, it can only reshape or destroy. Maybe the light can only create and it cannot destroy. Maybe that's, you know, since you, Alan is clearly aligned with the light somehow, maybe that's the limitation. Maybe he couldn't get rid of Nightingale once he'd let him out of the box. There's so much that's left ambiguous and it's perfect. Don't mind me. I think I've been down there already. Just looking for, uh, stoof. That's old. That's fucking ancient. Grey Peak Gorge. Originally founded in 1928, the Grey Peak Gorge Mining Town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years here were buried there, a grim reminder to be careful for those who remained. Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when the Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. It seems to me... Oh, that was me, Jesus Christ. The footsteps. I don't even remember what I was about to say. Just got... Uh, oh, for a second there. Oh, yes, 1970. It seems to me that it cost an awful lot to uh, put the... Well, for lack of a better description, to close Pandora's box in 1970. You know, an island was destroyed. Thomas Zane uh, just seems to have vanished off the face of the Earth. Which does make me worry about what the light actually expects of Alan when all is said and done. Page. I 
I turned so fast that my brain thought there were two thermoses in here for a second, and I got excited. <laughs> Again, I want to make it clear, this is not like a function of the flashlight. You know, that. All he does is focus. I think there was a page earlier that explicitly said he, uh... You, it, it just happened when he was completely desperate for the light to be stronger somehow. Like it responded to him. I think that's something that only Alan would be able to do. You know, because whether it's a sacrificial one or not, he clearly does have a role to play in all this. Oh, boy! I mean, on the one hand, I'm glad I'm not actually fighting eight different poltergeists right now, but on the other hand, I think I'd rather be fighting the lumberboards than, uh, a refrigerator. Oh, that's why the one from Control was so angry, because I'm about to kill his brother! See you in hell! Oh, that means I do I doomed that guy. Oh no. I'll just pretend I didn't! No one will ever know! Oh god. Okay, definitely would have preferred the logs. No 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 no. Oh, oh man, right in the head. Back off! You no longer exist! Oh boy! Is that one, or is that just the skid getting kicked aside? Oh god! Oh! Stay amongst the pillars. In fact, yeah, here's another one. Get fucked. Oh, the, the flare must have killed that one. It's gonna take a while. There you go. That helps. Uh, I'm not gonna go back yet. I don't want to just waste the pickup with another one if I can get another one. You know what I mean? My, uh, that didn't come out right. I, I don't want to waste the pickup by only picking it up when I would get one if I could do a little bit more backtracking. This is probably gonna collapse anyway. Oh! I waited an extra long time because on more than one occasion in horror games I've gone, oh, I guess I was wrong, and then the thing I predicted happens as I'm saying that. I like that the manual for Alan Wake gives, explains, you know, some of the things very clearly and in full detail, and other things are just... gone. They're not there. Oh my god. Oh god, it's a gas car. That thing could be a bomb in addition to being a giant projectile. Oh! Die, 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 die! Behind the tree. I need you to be dead. Oh, uh, about that glow there. I think... Where did I put the book down? Shit. Oh, there it is. Yes, 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 yes. There was a section in here about the Taken... Uh, where did it go? Da, 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 da. Taken come in small, several varieties. Typically, the small ones move faster but can take less damage, or as large ones are slower but can withstand more punishment. Da, 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 da. Seemingly teleport over short distances. I think I've seen that. Uh, oh, the amount of damage a Taken will do is relative to the size of their weapons. That's interesting. 
There it is, there it is. Some taken have stronger protective shadows than others, and if these shadows can regenerate if not completely destroyed. So it's actually worse than just it won't go away without a focused beam. Huh. Ah! I'm not sure if you saw that thing pop up just there. Let me, uh... Okay, you can see this, I think. Achievement unlocked. Iron Horse encountered a steam engine. I also noticed going over the footage that, uh... The, the, the session before... The session before this one... I noticed a bunch of achievements that seem to have been unlocked all at the same time. And I guess the same thing happened last time, because here's Heavy Metal survived the bulldozer on the 27th, except I actually had the boss fight with the bulldozer on the 26th, the day before that. So it didn't unlock until the, uh, the day, uh, when I started playing the next day, and got, I think, this achievement here? Two for the price of one, killed two taken with a single shotgun blast. That's why I didn't want to run over here, because I thought this was going to also be a thing. So there's an achievement for... Oh. It's never really occurred to me before how dangerous one of those old-timey windmills could be. Fucking looks like a giant throwing star, covered in rust. Oh. Keys. What could I need to unlock? I needed a key for the door. Oh, that would do it. Doesn't always have to be very uh, flowery language. Huh. That definitely looks like a mine entrance that got covered up at some point. Oh! Yoink! Fucking minor ghost is gonna wander out of that wall in a minute and go, Aw, oh, where's my coffee? The ghost of the last minor 49er, and he can't even enjoy his drink. This doesn't feel like a very spooky episode for Halloween, but you know what? It's the spirit of the thing. This is actually kind of nice for what, what the place looks like on the outside. Is this like a homeless person's home or something? Wait, no, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, I don't know what you'd call that. Just, um... Well, it's, it certainly looks like someone's been squatting here at any rate. There's another one of those chairs. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I so. managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things for my story. They ring true. They fit. Well, that's interesting. The last time I found one of these, the TV burned up afterwards. There was smoke coming out of it. In fact, I was going to make a comment on it after I confirmed it, about how, uh... the Night Springs TVs just turn off, but the, uh, Allen Message TVs burn out. Anyone else notice that, uh, other Allen's eyes looked really fucking crazy in that video? He had bigger bags under his eyes than I do. I have the worst sleeping schedule. Oh, I can't have the shotgun and the, uh... Okay, only ha Yeah, that's right. I only have one slot there. 
There's a ton of ammo for it right here. In fact, that box says it has 20 rounds inside. Aw. <laughs> Oh, I think I actually have a comment uh, from, you know, our resident weapon enthusiast, Derek Floyd, on the subject of the pump-action shotgun, so I'll just read it here, if I can find it. Uh, yes, here we go. Oh, well, this isn't exactly about it, but it says, uh, I have never liked the trade-off in capacity and damage with two different guns that fire the same cartridge. It breaks immersion purely for gameplay balance. Although, again, uh, I was mistaken about that, it turns out. They do the same damage, and in fact, this one shoots slower. Uh... Yes, the pump-action shotgun is the Winchester Model 1300 Defender. But the HUD icon for it is the Remington 870. That, and the achievement you get for killing 50 taken with it, suggests that the in-game model was going to be a a the 870, but it got changed. What was the achievement called? I kind of thought it would pause by itself, but okay. Six gun scribe. Defeated 100 taken with a revolver. Uh, I don't know that I have that one. Tell you what. Here it is. I found it and highlighted it. The, ach the achievement being referred to is it's not just a typewriter brand. Defeat 50 taken with a shotgun. And, uh, yes, there is a Remington brand of typewriters. Which I know because I'm a huge nerd. Um. So, yeah, that, uh, that is pretty sound logic there. Interesting. Uh, in any event, this is actually kind of a cozy place. Maybe I'll settle down here for a moment. Take a breather. And, uh, do my outro. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I will see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake again. When we continue our journey through the night. And, uh, maybe get to that meeting and, you know, shove the kidnapper's head up his own ass. We'll just have to see. Till next time, stay in the light, and happy Halloween.